the uh, sedentary lifestyle is problematic to Americans of all generations right now. So bicycling and walking is part of the solution. Five years ago, I uh, drove my car every day to work. I'd lost uh, about 70 pounds and uh, hopped on a bicycle and rode a couple of times to work. I got interested in trying to do it in the winter time and before I knew it I was doing it 365 days a year. Minneapolis is a uh, model for uh, what you can do with very committed bikers who even in our climate will make this the number one bike city in America. Non-motorized transportation pilot program here is known as Bike Walk Twin Cities and we are administering almost 30 million dollars in federal funds to increase bicycling and walking while decreasing driving. We're doing a lot of projects in Minneapolis um, that was funded from that federal source of funding like bike sharing. Nice Ride Minnesota is a new nonprofit that uh, has been created to operate a public bike sharing system in Minneapolis. Uh, we're going to start with phase one which is a thousand bicycles in 75 kiosks. It focuses on our downtown, the University of Minnesota campus and nearby commercial areas. We're going to put our bike share kiosks on the street at the beginning of June and we'll be turning it on during bike walk to work week. We're going to make it easy for everybody to ride a bicycle while they're downtown. We think that's really going to increase the number of people that are riding downtown. Right now we have about 40 miles of streets with bike lanes on them and we're going to be getting that up to almost 80 miles with these non-motorized pilot projects. And then about a quarter of those are going to be bicycle boulevards. What we're trying to do with Bicycle Boulevards is remove some of the stop signs so you don't have to stop at every block. Improve the crossings. Typically you do that by putting in a median or a diverter and special markings on the street to really let cyclists, motorists, walkers know that this is a street for everybody. We're also going to finish some of our last trail gaps that we have in Minneapolis. So we're going to be completing the U of M Trail and the Hiawatha Trail connection into downtown. So this is the Hiawatha Trail. It's a main commuting trail in, in addition to being a, just a fun recreational route because this goes from southern Minneapolis all the way into downtown except that right now it actually doesn't get downtown because it dead ends here and then people have to go through this parking lot, which you see that cyclists doing that right now. Anyway, this is an exciting project just because it's going to really make a difference in getting people to downtown. We have a park system that circles the city and all of those parks have trails in them. So it's a really long tradition here in Minneapolis of people getting out and biking and walking. Minto Greenway is 5.5 miles that goes across South Minneapolis connecting our chain of lake system to the Mississippi River. It was built with a pedestrian and biking bridge over Hiawatha, which is a major highway. The Midtown Greenway gets a lot of use and people really enjoy it because you know that you as a cyclist or a pedestrian really do have the priority there. We are the only bike station on the main thoroughfare bike path through Minneapolis. We've got a cafe commuter parking, bike showers, rental shop where people can rent a space and fix their own bike. We teach classes to teach people how to fix their bikes. We have clothing, accessories, you name it. If you want to know what we do on Trail Watch, we ride around, people see us in our vests, we look out for litter, drunks, and suspicious characters. If we see any of those things, we just move them off the trail. Trail Watch started out because there was some violence on the Midtown Greenway. The local internet forum, MinneapolisBikeLove.com, some people organized a ride just to take back the Greenway, and the Midtown Greenway Coalition got behind us. Minneapolis Bike Love is pretty much the meeting place for cyclists of all different kinds. We're not trying to sell them anything. We're not trying to do anything other than create a place where people can talk about riding. You know, people are posting up, there's a meeting coming up on this proposed bike lane and they talk about strategy for what they think should happen on that bike lane and try to remind each other that, hey, it's coming up tonight, everybody, let's go. I think the bicycling subculture in Minneapolis is probably pretty surprising to a lot of people. Uh, we have a big bike art scene, so we have several bike coffee shops, we have art shows that go on. Having a place to gather is kind of what we were looking for. 
you could either do liquor or you could do coffee, and they both have strong cultural ties to cycling. Coffee was a far easier choice right off the bat. We have pretty big critical mass rides. There's a, there's a really a, a lot of stuff for people who really want to get involved in bicycling. Biking is going to be great in Minneapolis because the bike community here is incredibly inclusive. You have folks in retired, people with kids, you know, young folks. Everyone just kind of sits at the table together here, and, and I think that's a really amazing thing about Minneapolis. And so it's just a matter of us figuring out what we want to ask for. That will include increasingly taking on these tough projects, really getting bikes on commercial corridors. The old way of building cities was the Robert Moses model of having a grand visionary uh, disappear into a room and come out with a plan. The new way of planning cities is to engage citizens from all levels, get all our ideas together, and then make them work. So Minneapolis, I believe, is a model not only of the new way to do transportation, but the new way to do transportation visions that emerge from communities as opposed to having them imposed upon the, the people. Two minutes ago, I learned that Minneapolis had surpassed Portland to be the number one bike city in America, according to Biking Magazine. I am a very happy camper, but I have to tell you we're not going to rest on this because Portland's a great city and so are others and everybody's moving fast, but no one will move faster on bikes than Minneapolis. We're proud to be number one and we're going to stay there.